Hello, I'm Laurie Batchelder Adams, the incoming president of SWANA, and I'd like to take a few minutes to talk with you about solid waste management and greenhouse gas emissions. Now we all know that in this country, the United States does not have a consolidated response to climate change. Luckily, however, many businesses, states, and cities do. And SWANA has joined these ranks with its new energy, climate, and waste connection. SWANA will make this connection on three fronts. First, we'll provide a new service for members beginning in early 2008, and that will be a new portal that will serve as a clearinghouse for information on energy and climate as it pertains to the solid waste industry. SWANA will also set an example as an organization itself. Our WasteCon and other conferences are increasingly successful, and this of course makes us very happy, but we realize we have a, re a responsibility for the environmental impacts of our conferences. Therefore, beginning at WasteCon 2007 in Reno, we will begin to offset the effects of our impacts or our electrical energy usage. We will do this by purchasing offsets from the Chicago Climate Exchange on the WasteCon exhibit floor during the conference. You can actually join us on October 18th at 10 a.m. to observe a live carbon trade at the SWANA booth. Please do it. It will be very exciting. Furthermore, I'd like to challenge you to become involved in the SWANA Energy, Climate, and Waste Connection, both professionally and personally. There will be all kinds of information and tools available to you to get smart on what your current programs are already doing to contribute to greenhouse gas emissions. You can also use this information to get ready for changes that are coming down the pike and will probably affect your programs sooner rather than later. Specifically, you can work with SWANA to both help educate and support your U.S. legislators on things such as cap and trade emission programs, reduction reporting programs, and also renewable portfolio requirements. In fact, in the Reno brochure, you will find a commitment challenge card that you can fill out and share with us exactly what you plan to do to prepare for the challenges that are coming your way. On an individual level, of course, we have all kinds of opportunities to reduce energy usage and greenhouse gas emissions. The sorts of impacts we make on a daily basis come primarily from household operations, the heating and cooling we do, and our travel, whether it's in the car or flying. So we have the ability personally to reduce electrical and fuel usage, to purchase renewable energy from our utilities and regions where that's available, and where we, where we can't reduce to offset in a similar fashion that SWANA is doing with Chicago Climate Exchange. And many of you already know you can simply hop, off, hop online and purchase offsets for things like your flight to Reno. So please check that out. It's very easy to do. In short, the issue of energy use and resulting climate impacts is a huge one. It requires immediate action from all individuals, businesses, and governments that can make a difference. The solid waste industry has the opportunity to further reduce greenhouse gas emissions, and we therefore have a responsibility to act. In Tampa in 2008, the WasteCon 2008, we will fully showcase energy and climate issues, and we will be encouraging all of you to come and share your projects with us. Please, please mark that on your calendars. It will be a terrific conference. So please take the SWANA challenge today on both the professional and individual level and help make a stronger connection between energy, climate, and waste. Thanks for your time, and we'll see you in Reno.